So this is interesting. What's up Mavs fans, it's DDP. At this point, it should be no secret that the Mavericks have pretty much based their foundation and their future moving forward on guys like Dennis Smith Jr. and Luka Doncic. And if you don't know that already, where the hell have you been? Adding fuel to this hype machine, which is already starting to pick up steam despite the fact that we haven't even bought out his contract from Real Madrid yet, is comments from other NBA players. The most interesting of note is the most recent comment as well. A one Greek freak, AKA Giannis Attentinkupo. I am trying really hard on that name, so please don't rake me too far over the coals. Now speaking to a Spanish outlet the other day, Giannis had this to say. He has shown that he is ready to play and has matured faster than the rest of the players. He has played against professionals, as Charles Barkley said. People in the NBA sometimes forget that the EuroLeague competition, they play very well and very hard. It's harder than the NCAA. You have to be very good to stand out in the EuroLeague, and Luka is. Now he would go on to say that he believes Luka will have an immediate impact. Now these comments aren't coming out of nowhere by any means. At 19 years old, Luka Doncic was named the EuroLeague MVP as well as the Final Four MVP as part of Real Madrid's championship run. He also earned Liga ACB MVP honors as well as the team won its fourth domestic title in six years. Now in addition to the comments I already laid out from Giannis, the Greek freak would also say, Luka is one of the most exciting players that has appeared in basketball in recent years. At 6 foot 8, Luka Doncic brings a playmaking ability that could see him run anything from the point to in a Rick Carlisle system, perhaps even the power forward with effective results. He's a guy that makes his teammates better, loving to pass the ball, showing excellent vision and touch, and who gets his teammates involved early. He's a shining example of a point forward in today's NBA, and he's going to make Dennis Smith's life much, much easier as a result. As for his personal production, in the EuroLeague Final Four, Luka Doncic averaged 22.3 points per game, 8.2 rebounds, 7.2 assists, 1.8 steals, all on a 59% true shooting percentage. That, to borrow a phrase from R.J. Young, is savage. All of this made Luka Doncic the unquestioned number one on the Mavericks draft board, and that's why they felt so secure trading up from five to three to make sure that they got him. But what about Giannis in all of this? Is his apparent interest in Luka a sign that he could be interested in the Mavericks in the future? Who did the Mavericks take with the last pick in the draft? Oh yeah, little Greek freak, the freakquel, Costa Atentacupo. I am still trying really hard on that name, and I'm going to have to get better at it if this hype train is going to continue. The reality of the situation is Giannis is under contract until 2021, and while this would provide the Mavericks core time to grow together and hopefully bud into superstars, looking at you, Dennis Smith Jr. and Luka Doncic, it also, from a timing perspective, could be the perfect time for the Mavericks to be ready to compete, as the Golden States of the world and the LeBrongeless Lakers are at that point on their way out as far as being super teams. The Mavericks could potentially find themselves getting a chance to rewrite history and right one of their greatest wrongs by not taking Giannis in the 2013 NBA draft. Now that might be pie in the sky, but it's a vision and a potential future that I am more than interested in exploring further. Huh. In fact, I think I will. Stay tuned. Oh, right, right, the tagline, tagline. And remember, every legend was once a prospect.